I'm Lily. Today I'm going to read Starry Story Night. Two twinkling bears in the sky, a true team effort, and the runner with one leg. Okay, first is Starry Starry Night, as famous as a star. At night, do you look up at the sky? There are many stars, and some make images. Groups of stars make those pictures. Two famous groups of stars are the Big Dipper and the Little Dipper. They are interesting for many reasons. Looking good. First, the two dippers have a lot of stars. The both they both have seven stars each. Four stars look like a ball, and three stars look like a dipper's handle. Put the ball and the handle together, then it will be complete. The na- name that star, the big and the little dippers are also interesting because they have they have many different names. The big dipper is co- is also called Ursa Major or the Great Bear. In Great Britain, they call it the Plow or the Saucepan. Next, the little dipper is called Ursa Minor or Small Bear. They have a lot of names. When when can you see them? Another interesting thing is their location. They are near the North Pole. This means not everyone can see them. People in the northern part of the world can see them, but people in the south cannot. They are visible all year round, but they are clearer from March to June. Go outside tonight and try to find them. Next is two twinkling bears in the sky. Once upon a time, there was a very pretty woman, very beautiful woman. Her name was Callisto. She had a long red hair. All the men loved her beauty. Zeus loved her too. Zeus was the king of the gods. One day, Zeus came to see Callisto. Zeus and Callisto fell in love. They had a son together. His name was Arcas. When Zeus' wife Hera found out, she was very angry. Get away from my husband! Hera shouted. She turned Callisto into a bear. Callisto was very frightened, so she ran into the woods. Many years passed. Arcas was now a young man. One afternoon, he went hunting. With his friends, they saw a big bear in the woods. It it was Callisto. When Callisto saw her son, she ran to him. She felt joy and love in her heart. But Arcas did not recognize his mother, so he took out his bow and arrow to hunt the big bear. Zeus looked from the heavens. Arcas was going to kill Callisto. He decided to help Zeus. Threw Callisto and Arcas into the night sky. They turned into twinkling stars. The stars looked like a big bear and a small bear. Callisto and Arcas lived in a sky forever. After that, many people called them Big Dipper and Little Dipper. In Greek myth, Zeus is the father of gods and the man. And man, he is the good. He is the god of sky and thunder. Hera is the wife of Zeus. She is the goddess of man, woman, and marriage. A true team effort. Do you like watching soccer, or do you have a favorite soccer team? They are many great. Great teams and soccer players in the world. One example is the English team Arsenal. They are very successful and continue to win many games. But they do not do it alone. A lot of people help them. Let's look at some of these people. First is equipment manager. Paul Johnson is the Arsenal's equipment manager. He takes care of all the team's equipment. He also makes their travel plans. This is not an easy thing to do. Paul has a background in soccer, so he helps the players train sometimes.
Now is health coach. Tony Corbett is the health coach. He helps the players stay fit and healthy. He makes them exercise every day. When a player is hurt, Tony helps him get better. Tony's job is very important because the players must be fit and must be fit to play well. Like the equipment manager and health coach, many people help our center players. With their help, our center players can play great games. It is not only about being good at sports. Remember this fact: many people must work together to make a good team great. Our center soccer team is an English professional soccer team. Their home ground is in Hollowed, North London. Last story, the runner, the runner with one leg. Hello and welcome to T and Sports News. We have a special guest today. Her name is April Holmes. April, thanks for coming by. It is a pleasure to be here, Jim. You are a famous American runner. Can you tell us a story? Of course, Jim. I started running at an early age. I was always running in high school. I won many awards, but something terrible happened. What was it? Ah、uh, well, I I was at a train station one day. I slipped, and a speeding train hit my left, hit my left at leg. The doctors had to cut it off. That's terrible. How did you feel? I was in the hospital for for a long time. Sometimes I felt angry. I remember crying a lot. It was a very sad time for me. How did you beat this accident? Did anyone help you? Oh yes, many people helped me, but my doctor helped me every day. How did he help you? He always talked to me. One day, he told me about the Paralympics. It is like the Olympics, but for people just like me. I had a new goal. I exercised and practiced a lot. The next year, I entered the Paralympics. April, thank. Thank you for telling us your brave story. We will be back after a short break. The Paralympics is the Olympics for handicapped people. It is held every four years. I knew Olympics, but I didn't know about Paralympics. Bye.